Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. Do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes? How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Part of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. It looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. Snake bites, and someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> 